Becoming a champion boxer, it takes years of hard work, dedication, and a whole lot of sacrifice. For Jake Gyllenhaal, playing a winning fighter takes all that compressed into five grueling months. He stars in Southpaw. It opens tomorrow. It's fantastic, by the way. The movie is part boxing, a whole lot of family drama, but when it's time to get into the ring, it's all about the fighting. So, Jake, I have to say a couple times I was watching it like this because it was very hard for me to see you get hit. Well, you know, I think it is hard to watch. But I also think there's something about it as you move through the story, father and daughter, and you realize what he's fighting for, why he's taking those punches, and those punches have meaning emotionally, as opposed to just, oh, what's the brutality here? There's a reason for them. Southpaw follows the rise, fall, and eventual redemption of Jake's character, prize fighter Billy Hope. The film co-stars Rachel McAdams and 12-year-old Una Lawrence. What you're saying about as the movie progressed, how you feel, yeah. because it started from, oh, I can't watch it. Hit him, Jake! Hit him! <laughs> hit him, Billy Hope! Hit him! You know, like, I don't even know myself cheering this on. I know. Uh, there was a group of mothers at the premiere, and I was like, oh, I hope they like this. And I remember <laughs> in the last fight, they were like, oh! Like, there was a big hit, and they were like, oh, I hit some real hard. He's like, like, oh, yes. You know, because it's about family. It's yes. about fighting for your family. I can't lose my daughter. I'll give you my everything. It's a beautiful love story. Yes. On many different levels. And it's like boxing is part of it, but that's not the heart of... Boxing is not the heart of that movie. No. Would you agree? Yes. Well, Una, who plays my daughter yeah. in the movie, she says, um, when people ask her, they say, why should people come see this movie? And Una said the other night, she said, well, the boxing's pretty good. She said, but it's all about love. Yeah. And I was like, oh. I'm going to tell you something. And it is very important, okay? I want you to listen. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so predictable. Man. <laughs> I was so surprised to hear that you were not really a fighter. No, I didn't know how to box at all. I had taken like some classes where, you know, I, I had like thrown a couple punches and, you know, like it was aerobics classes. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, I yes. I was like, in, man, in the, yeah. In the boxing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like. <laughs> you know, um, but I really didn't know much about the, the techniques. I didn't really know about the sport, really. And I, over five months, out of fear of, you know, feeling like I might look like a fool in the ring, I learned all the techniques. When did you go from, I'm worried about not looking so great into this, to I got this? I never got that. I never got there. <laughs> no, I mean, I think... You had to look at it and go, okay, that looks pretty good. And we shot the fight sequences the first two and a half weeks of filming. Oh, wow. So I trained like I was training for a fight. The night before, I really was in a mode. We did basically a weigh-in like they do weigh-ins in real fights. And um, we went to our respective you know, rooms before the fight. We had the crowd there. They announced us just like they would in a real fight. And I thought, <laughs> like, I'm going to beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, I am wow, really you hope. really think you know? I was like, you really think you know what you're doing? Um, <laughs> and that was a moment where I went, all right, like, I got this. Director Antoine Fuqua, a boxing fan himself, insisted that Gyllenhaal not play a boxer, but actually become one. He said, I want to shoot this like a real fight. I want every fight to be shot by the HBO Showtime cameraman. I want everybody there to be real and everyone from the boxing world. I want there to be a real crowd there. I want to go for long takes. So I want you to do three rounds at a time. And I don't want any doubles. Nobody doubles. Yes. I mean, in fact, there was one night where we were shooting. We were shooting one fight and it was we were shooting into the evening, probably around 3 a.m. And uh, I said, is it okay if I sit this one out, man? Like, I'm tired, my body's tired. He was like, what? <laughs> I just got back in there. And then also, though, then I go, would... never mind. Yeah, exactly. I would say, though, my, I do have a double, and he did do incredible work in this, the most dangerous work in this, which he did a car crash. And he, but I'm talking um, about for the boxing. No, the boxing was like, all me. The boxing was so all me. So you don't even flinch. You're that not, kind of you're dangerous... You're not scared? I'm more not of your green you? bracelet thing. <laughs> No reaction whatsoever, like, yeah, yeah okay, girl. <laughs> Let me talk about what it took for you to get into character for this movie, how you did it, because it was more than just let me get a great body. Mm -hmm. For you, this was hard. It seemed to be really hard work, and I'm going to go all the way in to do this. Uh, to me, it was learning the skill of boxing, which is really a, a beautiful, beautiful sport, and that eventually sort of shaped my body into that. And it was a fluency in boxing that allowed me eventually to have, you know, 
to look like a boxer. I was really looking forward to just showing up, walking the ring, and then having him fall on the ground. Jillian Hall's role was originally planned for hip-hop star Eminem, who was the executive producer of the film's soundtrack. I thought it was interesting that Eminem did the music. Yes. So are you a big hip-hop fan? Yes. I know you and Jay-Z are, are friends. Yes, that's how I got my swagger from Billy Hope. That was <laughs> <laughs> what, hanging around with Jay-Z or hanging around with Eminem? No, just listening to hip-hop. But uh, yeah, that's an honor. Uh -huh. Having Eminem do the music for the movie is pretty insane. You I've see, I would have never picked you with hip hop, Jake. It's like Jake Gyllenhaal. Really? Hip -hop. Yeah, it's my favorite. It's your music. favorite music? Yeah. I know it's it it, it it is a it's a very poetic. Music. I'm here to bring moms and hip hop <laughs> together. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> so what we got now is Brokeback Mountain. You've had some amazing roles with Brokeback Mountain, and then it was Nightcrawler. That Lou Bloom was yeah. such a creepy guy. The way he used to talk. Excuse me. Will this be on television? But my point about him is you lost a lot of weight for that role. Yeah. You gained 15 pounds of muscle for this role. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like the that, that part, Jake. <laughs> um, I'm not going to drool because it's, I, I know that it's art. So what does your body want to do next? <laughs> you can, it's, it's art, but you know, art can elicit okay? many responses. Okay, good. Right? Yeah. Good. Um. Take off your shirt now, Mr. <laughs> Jalen Hall. I'm let's, ready to elicit let's a response. Create, let's create art. Yes, take it off Jill right Hall, now. Take your clothes off. <laughs> Jill and Hall's dedication to the role is becoming legend, with the film director even claiming that the actor and his girlfriend broke up during the filming of the movie. I think Antoine embellished that just in terms of his idea of sacrifice and commitment. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, because the first thing he said to me was like, this is going to be about sacrifice, you yeah. know? And, uh, you know, I think. No. I mean, I think my life comes first always, mm -hmm. you know, so I don't think anything really in my work is going to, I'm going to really Your say. life comes first. Yeah. But what yeah. is your idea of a great first date? Oh, I think something, I think something that probably sets up the tone of just uh, normality. Do you know what I mean? Something where it's fun and not like not too fancy. Eating is very important to me. So yes. eating some food. So where shall we go? <laughs> you just want to make art. <laughs> I know you, yes. Gail. I only you like you for your art. art. Yeah. I know you. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Make art. Oh, the nicest yeah. guy. But the movie, guys, is so good. I would actually go see it again. I would see that movie again. And he's right. You, you know, you, some people would be turned off thinking boxing, boxing. But it's the love story that's the crux of this movie that makes it so good. And, you know, the Oscar buzz has already started about mm -hmm. Jake Gyllenhaal. And, and Rachel I McAdams. I think that's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. terrific. There's a lot of Boy, twists in the movie. such a charming guy. You brought Isn't out the best Isn't he, Charlie? Yeah, yeah. I like him very much. It's a much. really good interview. I'm smitten. Yeah.